Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video we're going to be talking about the field of view of a binocular. Uh, they range from fairly narrow to a very wide field, and uh, you'll find that uh, the magnification is the thing that really affects it most. But let's get started and talk about uh, a low power, and then we'll move our way towards a higher power binocular. Well, here we have a 7x50. This is the Scenic 7x50, and this has a very nice wide field of 7.1 degrees. It's nice and wide because it's low power. At 7 magnification, you're seeing a nice big swath of, of area and um, gives you a wider field of view. This one, the UltraView 10x50, uh, has a 6.5 degree field of view. And now I hear a lot of people say, oh, well, it's the 50 millimeter lens. That's what tells you the differences in the field of view. Actually, no, that's what tells you how much light they let in. So they're both 50 millimeters, so they're going to be about the same size here. But this being 7 power, I'm stepping back and getting a wider field of view. And with a 10 power, I'm zooming in and getting a little bit narrower field of view. So there is a trade-off there. If you want higher magnification to zoom in closer, you are going to lose the edges of the field. Not by much. I mean, we go from 7.1 to 6.5 degrees, so it's not a, a huge difference. But this is actually quite a wide field of view for a 1050. You can have another 1050 with a different design lens up here, and it'll be even narrower field. Um, actually, standard for a 1050 is probably somewhere between 5 degrees to 6 and 6.5 six and degrees. So uh, just watch out. As you go up to higher power, it will get narrower. And here we have a 15 by 70. This is the giant view 15 by 70. So now you're 50% higher magnification than the 10 power. And that means the field of view is going to be narrower as well. This has a four degree field. And remember again, this has a bigger lens, 70 millimeters, but that has nothing to do with the field of view. This is actually narrower because it's higher power. So now you're basically focusing on one specific object out there rather than seeing the, the, all the action at the football game. Uh, so make sure you understand what you're getting into when you're buying a binocular. Low power gives you a wide field of view. Higher power will be a much narrower field of view. All right, well, there you have it, the differences in the field of view of uh, different magnification and size binoculars. Thank you very much. Clear skies.